Hello everyone. Welcome back to Iraqi Dinar, your go-to channel for all the latest updates on our currency and the broader financial land escape. I'm Ali, and today we've got some intriguing news from the Dinar Gurus. We'll dive into recent developments, rumors, and expert insights that could shape the future of the Iraqi Dinar. Let's get started. First, we have news from Guru A. There was a buzz that the exchange rate might change before the July 18th assessment date with the World Trade Organization, WTO. This was their third assessment meeting, and a fourth one is scheduled for Q1 of next year. Many thought Iraq would become a full WTO member by July 18th, but that didn't happen. We'll keep an eye on future meetings for more updates. Next, Guru Glear brings us an article revealing that Iraq's gold reserves have risen to 150 tons. This increase is partly why gold prices are high. Gold remains one of the safest investment havens worldwide, attracting central banks and various investors. Guru Prony community poses an interesting question. Does Iraq's rising gold reserves have a negative, positive, or neutral effect on your investment? According to Majah Mohammed, our cash reserves are at an all-time high, and there are no fears of the dollar rising. This is certainly good news for investors. Intel guru Mayai via PDK mentions a flurry of rumors this morning about a new rate being set. However, we still can't go to the bank just yet so take these rumors with a grain of salt. Stay tuned for more concrete updates. Guru Frank 26 updates us on new instructions from the Central Bank of Iraq regarding the granting of US dollars to travelers, effective from July 14. The banks and exchange companies at the airport can now collect a fixed commission of 15,000 dinars per transaction. This new mechanism is designed to streamline currency exchange but has also sparked some controversy. Economic expert Dio Almohin believes that limiting the sale of dollars to certain companies confirms that political parties might be behind these companies to secure foreign currency. He highlights that the central bank's procedures are unclear and have not effectively reduced the selling prices of the dollar causing noticeable fluctuations in the currency market. That's it for today's updates, folks. What are your thoughts on these latest insights? Do you think the rising gold reserves and new central bank policies will positively impact the Iraqi dinar? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to stay updated on all things Iraqi Dinar. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.